Hello folks and welcome to Four Season Backpacking. Please subscribe for the latest outdoor adventure videos. On the way down. Sorry, I haven't been speaking, it's very windy. Um, so, this is an chance I've had to speak really. Check the view out. So, I'm just walking down these like uh, this sort of snake path at the moment, small snake path. beetroot's gone everywhere in the bag it's a good job i looked uh just gonna have a drop of beetroot um good thing about this carton is after um i drank it all i can use it as um a um, to fill water up at the uh, streams to use for cooking later in the day so eventually this path will come out to um a small country road i think i can actually see tents down there it's like a campsite could be yeah, it's looking a lot more like a campsite, but um, I may have even been tempted if um, I knew there were campsites open to uh, bring, uh, stay at one and bring my electrical cable so I could charge stuff up at the campsite, if that's possible. Well, this is a well-kept path going down here. A lot of these type of paths are usually really overgrown and hard to see the, uh, the path, so it's obviously a well-used path going down here. Hedging closer to the settlements down below. Black sheep. Well, it still works. Anyway, I've got to go this way. Yeah, well, on the Alps, it and it scrubbed me up hanging it for those new This is what. So 
So I found a place to uh, put the tarp up and bivy. I've done a low profile because I think it's going to rain. I'm really glad I bought the tarp this time. So on the, this expedition, I'm sporting a brand new ultra lightweight mat. Um, ideal for bivying in the summer. Yeah, I'll put details in the description about the mat for you. Oh, and uh, this uh, walking pole, this is a carbon walking pole. I'll put details in the description about this uh, walking pole as well for you. Also, that may not look much, but it is ultra light, very strong cord, uh, 1.5 millimeter. Uh, I'll put the weight in the description and uh, where you can get it from. I've got the OX OEX Bush Pro Bivy with me, which I had on the last uh, the last uh, episode where my um, sleeping bag got absolutely wet, hence this is why I'm taking the tarp as well this time. But it does uh, protect me against some rain, but just not heavy rain. And it also adds an extra uh, layer of warmth to the sleeping bag. Um, so I'm still using a summer sleeping bag and it is the end, coming to the end of summer now. So guys, this is the uh, this is the uh, OAX Bushcraft. Uh, this is the bivy, all laid out now, ready to put the sleeping bag in. So I've got no uh, normal cell phone signal, so um, I'm trying to use this satellite phone, but um, it's saying no network. Um, that could mean that the satellite, unfortunately, is on the other side at a, um, low, uh, the orbit it's at with this uh, hill I'm in front of blocking the signal. So that's a bit unfortunate. I have to go on top of the hill to get signal for a satellite. Possibly. It doesn't seem to be picking up signal. This uh, GoPro stand I'm using is terrible. It's absolutely useless. Anyway, I got myself um, two vegetarian pies from Morrison's to eat now. Plus I've got um, some dried camping food, but I'm going to eat these first. These are actually very good. Look at that. Mmm, very yummy. And of course I got one of these. I love these drinks. Uh, I'll put a, a link in the description where you can buy them. I really needed that after going up these hills. That was really nice. Highly recommended. If you haven't tried these already, you can get them in the supermarkets as well. But as I said, I'll put a link where you can buy them in my description, video description. And I've got myself some blackberries. I know I can pick them wild, um, which I do sometimes. But um, I got some from the supermarket. But yeah, if I see them wild, sometimes I'll pick them and just eat them. Delicious, man. I love I love blackberries. So nice. Mmm. So I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, this mat's all right actually. Um, it's really thin. It's like the lightest mat you can get. I think it's only really suitable for summer bivying or light camping. But um, I don't. I'm not too fussy about how hard the surface is. Um, it seems all right for me. More like I like sleeping on the hard surface. Uh, so I'm not really keen on blow up, um, these blow-up uh, mattresses for the fact like camping on ground like this I can guess you could get an easy puncher I don't know I've never used one but I can't be bothered with the hassle of um, blow blowing up a mattress at the end of a hike when I'm really tired plus the fact it they do weigh a bit more I believe and this is much lighter no messing around just pull it out and uh, on the floor it's ready to sleep on um but uh the next uh the next adventure after this this uh after september i'm gonna start using a thicker mattress okay guys <clears throat> yeah i was hoping it was gonna uh be some heavy rain tonight because i got the tarp up but so far <laughs> it's warm not even nothing to wear my thermals Although I think the bib is probably making the sleeping bag a lot warmer. Some say it makes it 10 Celsius warmer. Don't know if that's true, but it is definitely too warm for thermals. And it's towards the end of summer now. Um, coming towards the 20, you know, towards the equinox of September. Um, 
but yeah there's no rain at all no sign of rain i just wanted to test out the uh tarp we'll have to give it tested it out in rain before but it'd be nice <laughs> to have some rain now i bought the tarp um <laughs> of course now i bought it bought the tarp it's probably not gonna rain is it but it does give me a bit more of a secure feeling with the tarp and the bivy bag rather than just the bivy bag on its own but of course just having the bivy bag on its own is a lot lighter anyway unless it rains this is going to be me signing off but if it does rain i'll bring you back there are more episodes to come on this adventure so if you don't want to miss them and you're not subscribed already please do hit that subscribe button and thank you for watching